In this video, guys, we're gonna look at Pepperstone for spread bets and CFD trading. Stay tuned. Hey guys, one welcome to you. All right, so let's check out Pepperstone's website. Let's see what they offer, what they don't offer, uh, what you can trade through and the kind of platforms you can use as well. So I'm on the Pepperstone website now. Uh, these guys are sponsoring this video by the way. Now listen, they trade spread bets and CFDs and the front page says CFDs, spread bets, uh, Forex, gold indices and more. Anyway, let's get to the good stuff. What we're interested in as traders is the spreads. We're interested in the platforms we can trade. We're interested in those kind of things. So let's just double check first that these guys are legitimate and we do that by going right down to the bottom. First of all, you should do this with any broker you check and go and see what their financial conduct author authority registration number is. Then you go and put that into the FCA website website and it will tell you, hey, this is Pepperstone, and you double check as well that the address matches up. That always is the, is the right way to do it. Listen, uh, and then you go down here, there's your registration number down there as well, if you hadn't seen it. And if you want to go extra, you can go on Company's House and do your due diligence. Now, listen, guys, uh, Pepperstone have been around a while. Um, they are kind of quite seasoned in the market, starting out in Australia or over in the UK now. So, you know, they've got some pedigree, but and with regardless, uh, and obviously when it, you should go and check these guys out and have a look at this link in the description below, but regardless of that, just stay safe and make sure that you are trading with a regulated uh, broker, which obviously these guys are. We wouldn't have them as a, a channel sponsor, guys, if, if they weren't um, legitimate, uh, providing good service, and of course, regulated. Okay, so let's have a look at the spreads. Let's go straight to the spreads because that's what we care about, ultimately, um, or one of the big things we care about. So. Now, they have a couple of different types of accounts. If we look at Forex, they have a Razor account and a Standard account. Now, the Razor account is basically the tightest spread that they can offer, i.e. they'll just pass on the spread that they're getting with their liquidity providers, but they'll add a bit of commission onto it. Now, if you see how the way how it's worked, they've got a minimum spread and average spread. So your minimum spread, if you look at AEDJPY, for example, zero. Sometimes you pay no spread, but you will pay a small amount of commission. Now, when you work it out, if you're reasonably active, then the Razor is the better account to trade. Now, of course, the spread can widen because you're trading ultimately with the liquidity provider, so to speak, that's so passing it on to you. And in active times, it's going to widen out. So they've been quite upfront here and said, hey, listen, the average spread, even though it can be zero, the average for, say, AED, JPY is 0.33. Let's look at ones that maybe uh, you'd like to trade. Euro USD, obviously, pretty popular one. Let's go down and see if we can find it. There she is. Uh, zero point spread, an average spread of 0.13. Now, pretty tight. Uh, now, if you look at the uh, standard account, the same type of thing is exactly the same as the razor minimum, but they will add a pip onto the spread instead of paying for the commission. So, you know, you, you, it depends on what I want to see. If you'd like to see it all wrapped up into your trade price, then you're probably going to want to use the standard account. If you're happy to have the commission added on top and, and, and play that game, then the Razor account um, is probably for you. Now, if you're an active trader, then the Razor account is probably the right one. Anyway, let's go to the indices, some indices that we like to trade. Um, we look at, uh, let's say the DAX, DAX average spread in market hours, one point nice and tight, um, as you would expect. Bet, guys, that's pretty decent. Uh, and obviously outside market hours widens out, as most brokers do, because in the day, guys, liquidity dries up and things get wider. Uh, what else have we got in here? FTSE, average spread in hours, 1.05, so basically a point, uh, and out of hours, 2.37. So that basically means if you're trading during regular trading hours, ATM till 4.30 UK time, your average spread is gonna be about a point on the DAX, about a point um, on the FTSE, if you like trading that. And I've got here about NASDAQ as well, a point on the NASDAQ, one and a half on the Dow, these, these are decent spreads. All right, so check out the commodities. Um, you probably, may, if you want to trade orange juice, they offer orange juice, guys. They offer cotton. It's been a long time since I've traded uh, orange juice or cotton. But now and then, you know, I look at fin, I look at um, uh, Finviz, and I look through and see if any commodities are doing stuff. And guys, just one quick thing to point out is coffee. Every now and then has a real crazy run. So make sure you keep an eye on coffee. Put it up on your platform. We're gonna do a platform and walk around at some point. Uh, and that's a spread if you want to trade it. Nice being able to trade trade it through one platform rather than messing around with others. Okay, so you've got gold here, uh, we've got silver. Um, you know, let's have a look and see what we've got. So yeah, razor spread 0.5, razor, razor average spread 0.74. Crude oil is another one I like to trade. And some of you guys like to trade crude oil as well. You can see there, um, Decent spreads, uh, 0.01 across your crude oil products. And if you're trading your Bitcoins, uh, they also offer Ethereum and Litecoin. Bitcoin 0.1 minimum trade size spread from 10 
dollars and the contract size per lot is uh, per, per contract size per standard lot is one on that. Um, guys, they offer a lot of stuff. Uh, now, the most other thing that we also want to see is what the platform is. There's no point having decent spreads if the platform's rubbish, is it? However, these guys do offer three different types of platforms. They offer MT5, in fact, let's go straight to the platforms tab. They offer MT5, MT4, and the C Trader platform. So MT4, we know, super popular, you guys are probably familiar with, you traded Forex before. You want to know, hey, I'm familiar with this. And there's interesting points to point out. If you're trading Forex before and paying spot prices, maybe it's worth checking out the spread bet to get that tax free wrapper or capital gains tax free wrapper and still use the same platform. You don't need to notice any difference. Uh, you might finally save a bit of money with the spreads. It's obviously worth checking and you get the, cap the capital gains. Um, tax-free advantage with a spread bet. So MT4, you're uh, all familiar with this, guys. You know the score with this. We'll do some walk-arounds and stuff at a later date with this one. Platform, obviously the mobile platform. So MT5, doesn't seem to get as popular as MT4 even though it's a newer one. I think it's because some of the EAs and stuff don't work with it, but that's by the by. C Trader, that's a nice, that's a, a decent enough platform as well. We're gonna have a look at that later and you can do some automation with all of these kind of platforms as well. If you've got the comparison platforms, you've got desktops, browser versions, um, you can't trade some specific instruments on C Trader here. But what one thing is interesting to you guys are running algos, the EAs uh, will run on C Trader and MT4. So you can use automated algos, but with the Razor account. So it's worth bearing in mind and double checking what account type you want to use, depending on what you're going to do. Okay, so all these other stuff as well that you can expect to have, uh, except you can't get access to historical data on C Trader. Go and check it out for yourself. There's a link in the description below. Go and have a look and see what the platforms are like. They've got the bits and pieces on there to tell you the full range of markets they offer. Um, you can go and do a bit of background with them, uh, do your research, have a look and see what they're like, have a chat with the expert, or just open up a demo account um, and get going and try them out for yourself. But again, like I always say, guys, do your own due diligence. It's the kind of thing that you go, right, are they regulated? Are they got the, have they got the platform that I like? Have they got the markets that I like? Are the spreads competitive? Do I feel comfortable trading with them? Do they have everything? Because every trade is different. Every trade requires different. So listen, if you're you know, trading, uh, swing trading, gold predominantly, and a bit of FTSE, a bit of DAX, uh, and using MT4, and you want to spread a bit wrapper, it's probably worth checking out. If you are doing some unusual uh, calendar spread strategy directly on NYMEX on crude oil, then you probably will have to stick to who you've got. But anyway, guys, you know you know the score, you know what you trade, you know what to look for, um, want to bring to your attention. I want you to check them out. I want you to go and see if they are right for you. So that's Pepperstone offering CFDs and spread bets. See you next one. Take care. Bye-bye.